Fair enough. Yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna have to like constrain myself Sounds like to, from doing that. So you come back and I'll be like, ah, by the way, I'm like level 28. Yeah, I know. I know. No, I'm gonna have to hold myself can't. back. Yeah. Because honestly, it's so hard. Like, this game is just plain fun. Well, you got yeah. uh, Forza too, didn't you? Yeah. Is that the, the only no, two games you got, it. or did you get any other ones? Yeah, I, I, yeah. there was nothing else that mm. caught my interest. Like, I, I've mm. not. Ghosts I don't need. And. Yeah. Rice. I am liking this. I am really liking this game, though. Yeah. It's freaking pretty cool. Oh, hi, guy. It's good stuff. Sorry, I opened mm -hmm. the front door and a zombie came walking in. Um, yeah, race doesn't uh, race or whatever it is doesn't interest me. Um, hmm. No, this isn't coming on Steam. This is uh, Xbox One exclusive. You never know. Maybe they'll do something like next year or something like that. Then, then maybe as a ex exclusive time, and it'll come out on PC at some point. Because it is still Microsoft, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It can still port to PC, okay. But mm. I wouldn't yeah. hold your breath. No, exactly. Drink card. There's a drink card in here. Don't mind me, I'm just getting drunk. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Oops. Get rid of that. I want that. Oh, here we go. Com combo. New combo with uh, pretzel and beer. Pretzel and beer. A repulse. So, what is it? I don't know. Uh, let me see what the food recipes. Repulse. Become undetectable to nice. zombies for a short time. That's interesting. Uh -huh. And that, That's and again, cool. instantly adds yeah. an extra depth to the game. Yeah. God damn it. That's disappointing. Hmm. I, uh. Not now. Not now. I might have, uh, found a little bit of an outfit here. Where are you? <clears throat> it's maybe what I've already seen. What? What the hell? What's up? Where'd you find the stripper what? clothes? It's the business skirt, dude. Where's the business skirt? Clothes. It's in there. It's uh on the on the couch here, right here. Female yeah, business it... outfit. All oh, right. Skirt. That's oh, a police outfit shirt. Yeah. And then the police. Yeah, because police look... outfit shirt. There's yeah, a skirt see and my, a shirt. Wait till you see my yeah. shoes. You ready? Oh my God! Where'd you get the shoes? On the stage. Where'd you get those? Smells like Granny's house. That's really? Crap. Oh man. Right here. Nice. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Go go boots. Yeah. Really? Lamo. Lamo. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? What is this? Oh. There. <laughs> I put dark aviator glasses on. Unfortunately, you can't see them underneath my helmet. <laughs> it's another Bowie knife. Nightstick. Hmm. There you go. How do I look? Hmm? Yeah, there you go. Not bad. I don't know how... Is there no... There's no, no closet you need here, right? Safe I, to do that I thing. get rid of my helmet. Yeah. Oh, God. Is yeah. there any food in here? There's alcohol. There we go. What the hell? What? Oh, dude. <laughs> He's just barf. I love it. I do. I love it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I just did it too. Nice. I don't know how I just barfed all over the ground with my helmet on. <laughs> you but, uh, filled you know, up and it just dropped out the bomb. Uh, that's so uh. good. <laughs> Honestly, this game how is How much good. alcohol is back here? It's definitely on the mm -hmm. high... Uh, High list of great release. Yeah, I wonder how the uh, how the um, I heard came in on it. like I heard some people complaining about the controls. I've not had any real issues mm -hmm. with the controls. The only thing I'm getting is like mm -hmm. 
like my call of duty instinct kicks in when i'm running like i'll tap le the left stick mm. and i'll dive my call of duty instinct mm. just does mm. that it's just that but that yeah that's yeah, just me to sprint mm -hmm. so. yeah it's just your dumb ass yeah. right yeah exactly but uh yeah the number of zombies and stuff it does get really blurred out, though. Like, I mean, even for running 720 at 30 frames, it's... Mm, leaves a little bit to be desired. I'm not... In all honesty, considering what's going on in the distance... Like, you can see... Mm -hmm. You, you can yeah, see individual zombies up on that street at Billy's Bar Buffet. Like, see where I'm looking? At what? Uncle no, Billy's it's the, Buffet? No, it's Buffet. Buffy? Uncle Billy's Buffet. Did you Buffet? call it Buffy? Yeah, it's up there. Buffet. You can see individual zombies yeah. walking around up there. I mean, it's, yeah. the detail yeah. is yeah. nuts. And the zombies mm -hmm. look fantastic as well. But imagine if if you could get this exact same thing running 1080 at 60. That oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, considering... Like... Just... Yeah, I found a bag of marbles. I just threw a, I threw a bag of marbles at the zombies down there. Yeah. Well, I thought I figured it would uh, the bag would break and the marbles would roll all over the ground. And the zombies would like trip on them and stuff, but that didn't happen. The other thing is like, see the way like zombies come apart when you're packing them up. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. Okay. I'll, just... I'll do it before we actually yeah. exit properly. Well, I'm right. exiting right now. <sighs> Oh, let me know when Games you get it. Games are saved successfully. Mm. Freaking crawlers. Right. I know, the crawlers are annoying. Because you can't just do a regular attack on them to, to finish them off. Yeah, this, um, they definitely, Xbox definitely has a pretty good, a pretty solid release mm. title in this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's some. I think that's something that uh, the PS4. Yeah, is, I mean, is missing. Yeah, from what you've said about Killzone, like I, I still, I will still play it and get my own opinion on it. But from what you've told me and mm. what I seen, like you playing at the start, I understand why it got a little frustrating at times. So we'll just need to wait and see for my own personal. Mm. But yeah, considering like the, the exclusive of that. I mean, triple A exclusive. Let's look at it like that. Because this one's just. And the best of it was like the best of it is considering where it came from. Like, never I never played Dead Rising one. Like I think, no, I definitely didn't play any of it. No, oh, wait. I may I may have played some a little bit, but I can't remember really. Um, mm. Dead Rising two we tried to play. Yeah. yeah, we played through quite it a bit. It just got but... frustrating. And considering, like, mm -hmm. two... Basically, one non-experience, a bad experience, to go to this is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well done to them for just taking it to the next level. Um, so I got the day one exclusive mm -hmm. DLC. If you had your connect... So... <laughs> if you had your connect all um... wired up, you could just show it to it. Yeah, why do they make the freaking codes so complicated? I think they did that. The, the, I think they make the codes overcomplicated. No, that, to that's force the same you size the codes QR Xbox thing. always had. They always had giant codes like that. Yeah. Like even on a 360. Yeah. But like honestly, that is that was what I did this when I first got it this morning. I just hooked <clears> it up. Well, this is free. The day one exclusive DLC. I don't even need the code. It just says get it free. Yeah. Well, oh, that's that's for, that's then? a free, you need still need to scan it to get it to unlock it. Yeah, but it just said it's free on the marketplace. <clears throat> yeah, it's telling you that it's free that you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, exactly. So what the what is this code for then? Oh wait, you're on the marketplace and it's there. Well, I just went into uh, DLC oh, right. in the in game. In-game DLC, and it says day one exclusive DLC, but I never entered my code. 
Right? It just said it's free, and now it's installed. So I have... Mm. Maybe it's the disk as well. Maybe it's disks. Hmm? Maybe the disk is registered. No, maybe the disk is the registered disc? as a day one edition, so... Hmm. Did you see... Oh, my... No you should see the marketplace. It's just broken. It's... What, in your... Well, uh... see when you go to, like, the marketplace for Dead Rising 3, you'll get... In game, yeah. Like in in game, uh, you'll have Dead Rising Three season pass yeah, and that like... day day one exclusive DLC. Yeah, I have yeah. Dead Rising Three marketplace results at the top. The rest of it's black, yeah. and I've got a white box with Dead Rising Three season pass written in it, and I can move it to the right and see the day one exclusive, and it's still a black. It's just a white box with the writing. It's all black. Hmm. That's all I've got on my screen. Hmm. That's weird. So the uh, the season pass gives you <coughs> four episodes. Thirty dollars for one gives you four episodes of the untold stories of Los Perdidos, including over twenty additional weapons, four new vehicles, and four all new playable characters with brand new stories and missions. It's a free bonus to receive the Nick Ramos Survivor Pack immediately upon purchase. So it's basically seven fifty for. One story with one vehicle and five weapons. So seven fifty each. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see once we're uh, done the game. I don't know when they're releasing the uh, DLC, but hmm. I'm just checking. Yep. So let's see the achievements. So you don't have anything yeah, under achievements well, I, either. Well, I I have like no images. Like I, mm. I, I, I'd lo like I'd lo I'll, I'll, basically you'll be able to see it t like tomorrow, like you'll s like I'll, I'll show people it tomorrow mm. when I stream Forza, but um, honestly, mm. like it's just a mess, like looking at it. <clears throat> I'm, I'm almost at five thousand zombies. I'm at uh, eighty-seven percent of five thousand zombies. Hmm. See, this is this is what bugs me. You got these challenges, the achievement challenges. Watch three episodes from any original show on FX now to unlock this achievement. <laughs> but I don't think it gives mm -hmm. you gamer score, so uh, supposedly it doesn't. You get sixty show days to kill ten thousand zombies with vehicles. Yeah, I'm down to fifty nine. <laughs> I'm at uh, what percent am I at on that? I'm at 32 percent already. How'd you, so. tell, how'd you tell? You shouldn't just, be like, a problem. Seven percent. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Nice. <laughs> You've been doing more of the driving, so I can't. Yeah, I'm at 11 percent on the achievements for the game. The other thing is, is, the game's actually moving along quite quickly. Like we're on like chapter three or four mm -hmm. now, so we're basically at the halfway point. Mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna. I have no idea how to use the snap thing I either. Honestly, I don't I've actually. It's so funny that I've actually been using the connect. It's so funny. <laughs> I can just see. Can uh, just no, see but even just Xbox. like see when I'm like getting set up, like to do something like something like this, like I was doing tonight. I'll turn the Xbox on, I'll mm -hmm. walk out and maybe walk out of the room and go to the kitchen or something. And then I'll come back into the room and I'll be like, Xbox, uh, resume Dead Rising 3. <laughs> and it'll start Dead Rising 3 up and I can just walk away. It's, it's just so... It just sounds mm -hmm. so gimmicky when I first heard about it, but like things like that. It, it just means mm -hmm. I just don't need to keep mm -hmm. grabbing the controller, messing around, picking it down. It means I can keep doing all our stuff while I'm because like I know what we're like we're not always on time so I just thought I normally mm -hmm. get things set up and mm -hmm. just sit back and wait so it was just like it means I can just do that without even having to stop and take a breather <clears throat> yeah what what uh what else was I gonna say I was looking for Pornhub earlier no I'm just kidding um oh no the annoying thing is though if you don't use connect it doesn't auto log you in to the uh there's no setting to say auto log in. This I'm profile. still having issues lo automatically so logging in sometimes. Like I like, yeah, like I, I yeah. I've got it set to auto log in. Like it's even got like to use my face. 
the hell is that noise? Yeah. Why do I do like survival now? Resume now? Mm-hmm. Because it's to sync. I have um, the recording of the game and recording of audio on separate recordings. So that's used to sync up the recordings when I actually bring them into my um, editing software. Then I, I can sync up in time the uh, the audio yeah. to the game recording. Yeah, I've already turned off <coughs> the fact that you use Connect microphone for chat. I was like, hell no. But um, it was um, mm. it's kind of creepy because it's got like a night vision mode, a low light mode, so, so you can mm. actually see yeah, you. I heard that. And it's also got a thermal camera as well. Yeah, thermal it's kind of creepy. Yes. Like, but yes. It, but it's it's weird, like the fact that it, it, you can use your face to log in. Like if you've got multiple yeah. accounts on the same Xbox, you can like use the face to log in. It's like weird. Hmm. But yeah, it's a me- like I I I as I say, I'll, you'll go see like just something tomorrow. But but just the fact that I that I've got no. No backgrounds, like for anything. Like I've unlocked a bunch of achievements, obviously mm. playing like Dead Rising Three, and like I, I don't, mm. I, I've got no images for them. Yeah, it's weird. I have no idea what's wrong with it. It's just a mess. <clears throat> achievements party. It's kind of annoying that you got to create an Xbox li- like live party before you can do anything in game. Like, there's nothing in game yeah. that gives you any indication yes. until you. I don't even know what these pins are. I don't want these I'm pins. Like... Get rid of these yeah, just... pins. Piece of crap. Freaking. Um, Windows eight. Windows Windows eight. <laughs> no, this? but whatever. It's Drive fine. twenty vehicles. Twenty different vehicles. Like fifty blueprints. Mm. Create 50 combo weapons. Right. Pick up 250 different weapons. Holy shit. Collect 100 different clothing items. Wait, Master Builder, collect 100 Sorry. blueprints, and I know there was 101. Hmm. Interesting. Well, wonder if you get a special blueprint. No, but maybe, maybe it gives you a special one, one for un. Master of Massacre, 53,597 zombies killed. Genius of Zombie Slaying, yeah. kill 72,000 zombies. And then left 100,004 dead, kill 100,004 zombies. Hmm. Reach level 50, max out a single attribute, create every combo weapon. Create every combo vehicle. You must got you must have uh, gotten the uh, be a dick achievement. Is that just like join somebody else's game as dick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How come I? Oh, we haven't completed chapter three yet. That's why. Yeah, be a dick. Yeah. Complete the facts. Gang banger, lead a full posse, five survivors. Complete overtime. Hmm. So it must be like an overtime chapter or something, maybe. Mm. Complete chapter seven in nightmare mode. Oh, the fun we're having with mm. this, it'd be an interesting challenge to do my nightmare mode. Mm. Mm-hmm. Zombie killer. A little ambition. Local hero. I do like uh, what they've done with the uh, the achievements. Like, they have actually full images yeah, you for do. each achievement. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> We're available. Yeah, all my, We're uh, all available. Are, like, white. I want to see. Is there anybody else in the UK with a Xbox One with this exact same issue? Mm-hmm. See, look at this. They even have um, <clears throat> the Dead Rising Three challenges. Like, there's some that are active already, but then they have some. Like, there's another challenge here. Starts in 23 days from now. Christmas slay. Spill 10,000 gallons of zombie blood before Christmas, but it doesn't start for another 23 days. And then this one, explosive resolutions, kill a thousand zombies with explosives. This that one doesn't start for thirty six days. That's mm-hmm. pretty crazy, eh? Wonder what you got. Clothing reindeer mask. 
Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Hardcore Dead Rising fan. Complete Chapter 7 in Nightmare Mode during yeah. launch week. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Left. Like, I, I know for a fact that if we wanted to, we could probably do it, but, like, we'd, put, we'd be, yeah. like, we'd be rushing the, the story mode just to learn it. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. No. No, I don't... I don't... I don't want yeah, those zombies with fine. explosives. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. I sent you a oh. Skype message, eh? Sure. Um... I don't think anybody was listening to me, so I don't know. I'll maybe put it on. I'll look it up online. The whole like no image thing going on. I, I'm a, mm. I, I'm I'm just assuming it's like something to do with being in the UK. I don't know. Or not being yeah, in all that North too. America. <laughs> well, it's it's known that. A lot of the stuff, a lot of the apps, and a lot of the functionality. I mean, <clears throat> I was having a conversation with somebody on Twitter, and they're saying, "Oh, well, you know, the Xbox One wants to be like the the center of your living room." And I mean, the one thing that I that I said that, I mean, you would think would be a fairly simple thing. And if you want to be the center of my entertainment mm-hmm. in my living room, and yet not have surround sound on release day, yeah, I mean, come on, that's a pretty big thing not to. I have. just. I- it's silly, like all the so. things that the amount of stuff that they had set aside back when they announced they showed off the Xbox One. Back when they showed off, the amount mm. of stuff they talked about that was going to happen, this, that, that, this, the amount of stuff that's been changed since then, or been left aside, or mm-hmm. oh no, that's coming later, or what, is unbelievable. Like, okay? it's just, it's just. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not disgusting. It's it just feels like they've. <clears throat> I think they crapped themselves basically with the PS4. I think they realised they were going to lose this if they didn't get this console out quick and quick enough. I've got a feeling this mm-hmm. console probably could have done with another like six months of development. It should have maybe been like summertime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I, I yeah. was even court. Mess sent me a link to uh, the creative director over at Criterion Games, and mm-hmm. his exact words is, it, "It feels like a console that's not f- completed," and that's mm-hmm. pretty much. That's a good way of looking at it. Like I'll give you the, the exact word on this. It pains me to say it, but this has been the cl- the clunkier setup of a console ever. Just feels, dare I say, it, unfinished. Mm. And what he, he goes mm. on, he's talking about when it works, it works, but when it doesn't, it does not. And um, mm. where is it? This one. Yeah, it's like things like that. <clears throat> it just said, something terrible has happened. Please try again later. And I, and I just find <laughs> yeah. that, very, that very, very bizarre. And then it's just hashtag avatars. Like, yeah. There's just so much mm. just like missing. But it just—it does feel like they've just thrown it out the door. I don't know. I mean, it's everything else. It's. I understand that it's a business thing. They've got to—they've got to be out there competing with the big compete, uh, competition, which is Sony, who's had a fairly smooth release, apart from some faults. Like uh, HDMI port faults. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's good oh yeah, no, I'm uh, anyway, like, so. like, look at um, look at it from this point of view. We're both very Sony heavy players, and we're admitting that mm-hmm. this has the better launch game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I agree. This uh, Dead Rising Three is a launch title, and uh, like, I'm not a racing fan, but I've heard yeah. good things about Fours as well. Uh, they definitely have some good, solid launch titles, unlike uh, PS4. They don't. I mean, Killzone Shadowfall is, I wouldn't say, is on par with uh, with this game. 
At least, you know, it's yeah. just our opinion, though. I know right? they're totally different games. Of like, this is a third-person yeah. survival thing, whereas mm. <clears throat> Killzone's a first-person, like, along the... Yeah, but if I'm going to put my time into something, right? And I know they are very separate games, but yeah, if I'm going to put my time into something, my time is going to be put into this game over yeah. more and above than... No, but it's the, not even uh, just the fact that, like, what you, you've t- I've seen, the simple <clears> fact that it just sounded like there was just... It looked pretty, and yes, yes, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, Connect, but my left hand just raised up. I'm sorry. Jeez, I'm not allowed to move in front of this thing. Um, <laughs> it's uh, basically that it's. It looked pretty, but the the story wasn't really there, and the actual like game design mm-hmm. wasn't really there. So, it's mm-hmm. just one of the. It's just a shame that. But Guerrilla Games have always been known for that gorgeous looking game like they, mm. they when they, I remember when they announced like Killzone 3 and they're like oh, they, they showed this trailer off and everybody's like that's never going to look like that that's just a cinematic trailer well they, they brought it back and they went mm-hmm. no this is the game <laughs> so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, as far as uh, like graphics <clears throat> I mean if you want to do comparisons on, uh, on Call of Duty Ghosts etc like that uh, the thing I'd say is, and this is the same when I bought, like I have a TV in our living room. It's like a 60 inch. It's a rear projection. I mean, we've had it for uh, like a good 10, mm-hmm. 10 years, I think now. Um, it's fine. It's fine for what we watch on it. I mean, I could watch movies, Blu-ray movies. It's not going to be in, you know, it's not going to display. It doesn't even do 1080p. It'll do like 1080i, I think, at, at best. But <clears throat> the thing is, Unless you sit it side by side with the latest television, you don't really notice and you don't really care, right? And the same goes for uh, Xbox One and PS4. And it's not that big of a difference. I mean, I'm going a little overboard with the difference between my rear projection and and the latest HD TV. But if you're running Ghosts on Xbox One, it's fine. Like, it's, you know, I'm not saying it's even better or worse, but... Unless you have another monitor looking at the exact same thing from PS4 right beside it, Correct. you're not going to notice the difference. So it's yeah. not really a big deal. I, I was actually, I had this kind of epiphany when I, it was last night when I actually, I walked around to the store to try and get Dead Rising 3 on the midnight kind of release. And when I went around, mm-hmm. the store was already closed 30 minutes after the release. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but the funny mm-hmm. thing was, I was thinking about it. It was the fact that I remember growing up, um, you had Nintendo and Sega fighting out, and what they call the bit mm-hmm. wars, because it was always six. Uh, it was eight bit, sixteen bit, thirty two bit, sixty four. This is what it was. This was the compete. Now it's it's turned into the HD wars between these two consoles. It's the mm-hmm. which is the ten eighty mm-hmm. and the seven twenty. That's all you hear about now. On these two consoles, it's literally which is doing what. This is doing it at 720, 30, and this is doing it at 1080, and 60. And mm. it's like, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I agree. <laughs> 60 frames and 30 frames, you do see a, a difference. There's a difference, there's a huge difference in fluidity. The simple fact mm. is, your normal TV projects images at 24 frames per second. Like normal TV shows, it's normally 24 hertz. So, mm. let's, let's look at it that, like that way. You're getting a huge boost at 60 frames. And it does look a lot more fluid. Who cares? Mm. <laughs> I mean, at, at mm. the end of the day... <sighs> at the end of the day, it's all about where your friends are on gaming consoles... And what games you enjoy? And yeah, like it, exclusives, yeah. I, right? Basically, I, <clears throat> your friend, yeah. your friends, and Graphics exclusives. That's do not what it comes down to. Are, would never, ever, ever come into a decision for me to buy in a game. If they were, I'd have bought Re- uh, Rise: The Sun of Rome. That game looks gorgeous. Mm-hmm. But I heard everything about it. Was says it looks gorgeous, but it is boring. So it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't want to play a game that's boring. I'd rather play a game that's fun, like this. 
and it's running at 30 frames mm -hmm. in 720p. Who cares? Yeah. I'll be playing Forza, and that runs at 1080p in 60 frames. Mm -hmm. I might end up not enjoying that. I haven't. I haven't not, yeah. yeah, I played Have one race, it and it's yeah, it's actually oh, yeah. it was pretty fun actually. <laughs> You go around, it's like, see, yeah, the, the actual totally. the racetrack was gorgeous, and it got to the point that you went around the corner, and the sun was basically blinding, like, real-life blinding, and I was like, oh, mm -hmm. shit, I can't even see the road right now. So, it did, it looked gorgeous, <laughs> but, we'll just, uh, it's, <laughs> honestly. Watching your live stream, I'm just looking at, uh, messages. I'm a fan of you when you play custom zombies with Happer, Hacker Mole and Afro Boy. <laughs> yeah. Can I be your friend? How many people have sent me messages mm -hmm. on an Xbox One? I feel left out. I've had one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. I don't. I, I switched all the notifications off. As soon as I seen you switching them off, I knew exactly where to go. I went straight yeah, 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 there. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. The only, you know what's <laughs> bugging me? I can't turn off the tones mm. for moving around the menus. They all the do 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 do. I hate yeah. that freaking yeah. noise. I can't. I hate key tones. Like, mm. see any, see like on a phone. Like ever since they could, you could switch them off on like phones and stuff like that. I got rid of them. I hate that noise. Mm. Just that constant, especially like when you're typing messages in. When it's all like do 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 like oh my god, shut the floor. Nice. But honestly, it's fun in games. <laughs> oh, boy. That's... Yeah, these do. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to go <laughs> in game. Oh, by the way, I actually muted my microphone and turned my Xbox off with my Kinect. <laughs> oh, <did laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> when you could have just left it on and freaking, you know... Held down the X button and go press X, press A. Yeah, it's horribly difficult, difficult, yeah. Where I just wait like mm. Xbox turned off. Yes. <laughs> and that was it. Mm. <laughs> Even though it took me like three attempts. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it, 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 doesn't, like, it doesn't seem to like me. Really? Uh, it might be because I'm L and I'm maybe not pronouncing turn off properly. Mm. But it's just that way I'm mm. like. Who says it? Can you go to settings said? and disable? I don't. Disable? I never seen it. Where are the settings again? Oh yeah, I'll turn. Oh. Where are the set? Where? Uh, I'll turn my system settings. back on and have a look. But I honestly, I I scoured it. I freaking looked. But I was tired today when I set up. Where the hell are the settings? Um, if you just uh see the the three line button beside the X button on your. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know what how you describe that. It's a three-line button. That's what I've been calling it. Under preferences? I don't think it's under preferences. No? Where'd they yeah, say well, that's settings? just settings. All right, if anywhere, it'd be in sound. Yeah. Display and sound. And display that's just sound. picture and display and where the audio goes. Mm -mm. Close caps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, I got stereo That's... digital audio. Great. Yeah, as as I've not seen it, so I'm sorry. Like, you're maybe just trying to be helpful, and you don't actually know. Mm. Um, but I honestly, we're we're looking away for to turn off the deep 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 every time you move around deep 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 deep. Really, it really does. You have no idea. I really get annoyed with it. Oh, you can turn off system. your turn off the system after one hour of inactivity. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I yeah, no, because you're, you're well known for leaving your console on for days. Yeah. I've had people ask me. Like, I've honestly had people ask me, "Holy crap, Spider seems to be playing a lot of Ghosts," and I'm like, "No, it's just." He's left it on. He's just uh, he's just <laughs> left at the menu. See if you as I said if you watch him for like mm -hmm. ten minutes, you'll just be in the party just doing nothing. Yeah. Oh look, yeah. I can uh, 
wake Xbox up by saying Xbox on. What's this? Resume games quickly. Beta. What the? F There's beta shit on this game already. I ain't touching uh, that. No idea. Well, this whole yeah, thing, this whole thing's beta. Come on. I suppose any new UI when it's first out is a beta thing. Mm. So yeah, nope, it's not in system either. That's it. It's not there. It's kind of annoying though that I that I like I always have in the top right of my screen. Yeah. Connect is unplugged with this little image of. Yeah, that the that's little, gonna annoy yeah. you. Yeah. It's like. Okay, you can fucking get rid of that now. I know it's unplugged because I unplugged it. The only thing it, that I can suggest to you to get rid of that symbol is mm -hmm. you can actually turn off Connect, like in the menu. No, you can have it plugged in, but you can turn it off. Like, see if you go into the, the mm. see that settings menu you're in. There is a Connect mm -hmm. menu, and it, you can go in there, and it does it says Connect on off, and you can uncheck box. So you can actually switch mm -hmm. it off whenever you want. So that's that's there if you wanted to just get rid of that symbol, because I I I, I, do, I do. yeah, but c connect is off. No, but it's it's so it's, it's probably just because it's disconnected. It's looking for it. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, considering it's only a, a wire, you're just going to leave it on top of your console anyway. It's not going to cause you any real issue. Yeah, you see the freaking size of the cables, though, but man. Like, yeah. did you see my unboxing where I was making? I'm like, hyper. This thing's gonna capable of carrying yeah. like honestly, amps like, through this thing. I when I pulled out, like when I was taking it apart, like I honestly laughed at myself because I was like, hey, it, like when you're watching the stream, I'm like, that, it can't be that big. It can't. It, like I was like, <laughs> maybe it's just a weird perspective thing. And I'm like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have the weirdest connectors. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why they can't go with like normal connection yeah. connectors. Yeah, the power. Like everything else. They gotta have yeah, the these power big one, the two prong things. thing. That's like, it looks so weird. Yeah. Like I was, I was like, what if, is there a proper way to put this in? Like, is it? Yeah. Well, there was. There was the. Um, <laughs> yeah, the connect itself was just a weird like, t like an L connector. Like it was like a fire. Yeah. Was the the fire yeah. or something? What's the PC connection? That's like fire or something. Yeah, fire wire. Firewire. It's like one of those. It was Firewire. like that big giant connection. It was like what the. Fuck? Mm. I don't know. But I honestly, weird. it's like. It's just a shame. Like it's so like. The. Like I I I actually wiped. Did I tell you I wiped my Xbox 360. Yeah. Yeah. I found out. I found out if I take it to yep, the store. Yep, yep. I can get fifty pounds for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's yeah. Better than, uh, it's KMT. better than keeping it. Can you sell it? Can you sell it Probably online not. for anything? I would doubt. No. Unless I like. Unless I like say it's mine. You never know. There's some, probably some idiot out there that's a fan of NGT. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Sign, it. sign it. Sign oh, it. I, I'll tell you what. So people are selling Xbox Ones for about six hundred bucks. Two hundred, two hundred pounds, and I'll sleep with it one night so it smells like me. <laughs> so that's not much of a, you know, if you consider selling it. So it was five hundred plus mm. tax here, which puts it at. Five sixty-five. So people are selling it for six hundred. Oh, it's only like thirty. Thirty. Do me a favor. Extra. How much? Are you, how much is? How much was your day one? Dead Rising. What sixty dollars? The price. Yeah. Yeah. I paid fifty-five pounds. And that probably that translates to about eighty dollars. Yeah, they yeah, upped the prices quite substantially. Like they're not. So what was for? Was well, Forza, Forza was a day, day one? one, but it came with the console. Like I, I never ordered it. Like the funny thing is, see, when I ordered oh. the console, like when I put the pre-order down, it was just it, when I looked at it, it was like day ones are sold out. I'm like, I don't care. Twenty pound deposit, and it was just the mm -hmm. base console. I'm like, that'll do. Fine. Whenever it comes, it comes. Then when I got like the information like from them, they're like, oh, pay it up, and then they sent me the email saying like, that you, that's it paid for. 
this is what's coming. And it was like day one, day one with Forza. And I'm like, I didn't ask for that, but okay. And it wasn't like I paid any extra. <laughs> it was just like, there you go. I'm like, okay, thanks. So I got the day one console with a game. I was like, I was like, I, I was like, I don't care. Like I, I knew I was getting Dead Rising three, and I was happy just getting Dead Rising three. And I was like, but as soon as I got like Forza, I was like, oh well, I'm, it was a game I was kind of interested in, but like I've not played any of the other Forza games, and mm. I, I do enjoy car racing games, and I probably would not buy it mm. off myself, off off my own back. So I was like, oh well, I'm getting it. Mm-hmm. Might as well enjoy it. And if anything, I can just, if I don't enjoy it, I can take it up there and give it to them and be like, here, how much will I get for that? Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, Killzone mm-hmm. Shadowfall, mm-hmm. please. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah. Oh, for people asking which console you should buy, no. man, don't ask me that. <laughs> it's pure personal preference. There is no way, like, it's, it's like telling somebody w- what movie to go see what book to read I don't know what your preferences are you've like well I mean I, I, I'm more apt I, I, I think I'd be able to recommend a book or a movie you know a, a $10 book or a $10 <laughs> yeah. movie or something a little bit more than yeah, a I know. 4 or $500 a big investment, I know. You know, console but I'm still saying it's a huge mm. personal preference like I can sit there and tell you about one of my mm. all time favorite movies but if you just don't like the concept, you're never gonna take. You're never gonna invest mm-hmm. your like thought process into it. Yeah, I mean, for me, honestly, the PS4 controller, I love that thing to death way more than any mm-hmm. Xbox controller, whether it be the 360 or the One. Okay, um, I will play all games that I can play on PS4. The only games that I will be playing on Xbox One are exclusives. Or ones that provide early access to DLC, such yeah. as uh, Ghosts. That's it. That's it. That's the only time I'll play an Xbox One. Yeah, and we've been honest with PS4. I mean, we've been very it's honest just... with that for a while. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the system works. I mean, is is it got a similar setup like with all the troubles we had playing like Call of Duty in the past, with people just being able to find you through a message and join you? you know what I mean. Yeah, we yeah we've yet yes. to really see that, so I don't know what, how it's going to yeah. be on either console. I mean, this this whole followers thing, I don't know what the frick that's all about. Oh, yeah, I think it's just for I don't know. I I think because you get um, if you look at your notifications, like I think people will just get notifications of stuff mm-hmm. that you're doing. I guess I don't know. Yeah, it's just freaking nuts. But on it, like I don't get me wrong. <clears throat> All this stuff on the UI is stuff that could disappear in six months' time. There's nothing here that... Mm. The UI is never set in stone. Like, the Xbox 360's UI changed like four or five times over its lifespan, I think. So it can Mm. change. Yeah, they're definitely going to do something to PS4. I think they need to do something with the PS4 because it's just all in one long line. I I definitely foresee them updating Mm. the user interface. Like soon, yeah. Because uh, whenever I seen you like using it, I was like, "That's." It seems very, it's very basic. I don't know why it seems. It just feels mm-hmm. very basic as hell, and I'm like, "But again, basic can be good instead of just clunking your screen up with like mm-hmm. pins and snaps and apps yeah, and yeah. you know. I mean, it, it's a, it's a <laughs> difficult balance to find. I mean, don't get me wrong, the XMB on the mm-hmm. PS. Three is fantastic. It's just cut. it's good, but yeah, again, good. you've lived with it long enough that you're comfortable with it, so you don't know if it's just a time based mm-hmm. thing. Well, for me, I don't need a user interface oh, no. to be interesting, and you know, I don't care if it's bland or not interesting. As long as I can get to where I want to go quickly, then yeah. then I'm. Oh good. yeah. Oh, I totally agree. I mean, I've I don't know, but like, I just. This and and uh, this whole installing thing on the Xbox One, uh, can I get behind it? Yeah, it, d- it does take a long time, like ten to fifteen minutes waiting yeah. to play a new game. Yeah, and that's kind of like, and that was like, well, that Dead Rising Three, that was about ten to fifteen minutes to get the fifty percent mark, wasn't it? But the other thing is, like, what's yeah. it doing? Yeah. Like, 
is the game not going to be running at its full potential because you've not installed it completely? Yeah, but who cares, right? I mean...